Hey there, viewers! Are you a plant lover who's sick of pests? Well, if so, you're in luck. There are specific plants to fix this problem. Ants, bugs, spiders, mice, whatever infestation you have, these plants will get rid of them. In today's video, we'll talk about 11 pest repellent plants. Lavender and marigolds are top choices, but why? And what makes lemon, thyme, and rosemary good for your home? We'll be discussing all of these and more. Number 1. Lavender Well, lavender smells nice. It only makes sense to have this lovely plant inside your house. But can it really repel pests? Gross bugs are attracted to nice smells. But you'll be surprised to know lavender can, in fact, scare off mice, moths, and beetles. While you'll probably like the scent of lavender, these bugs find it irritating and keep away from it. You can grow lavender in your backyard garden or even as an indoor plant. You can also dry the lavender you harvest and hang it around the house. You can even take small bits and put them in cupboards and drawers to drive away moths. Lavender has other benefits as well. Research has shown that applying lavender along with sage and rose helps reduce the severity of menstrual cramps. It's a very integral part of aromatherapy as well. Experts recommend using aromatherapy to help people manage the side effects of cancer treatment. Actually, the smell receptors in your nose send messages to your brain, which signal all as well. This has a direct impact on your mood. It's great for people with dementia. If you suffer from insomnia, lavender is a great remedy for that as well. Aromatherapists recommend lavender to people suffering from insomnia. Lavender tea is a great supplement for stomach irritation, restlessness, and sleep disorders. Have you ever tried aromatherapy? Did it work for you? Share your experience with the Bestie community in the comments below. Number 2. Marigolds Marigolds have long been used as a repellent for a number of pests. If you have squash or tomato plants in your garden, you will find a lot of pests settling there. Planting marigolds will help keep them away. Another advantage of marigolds in your garden is they keep away rabbits and deer. You can also grow marigolds indoors. Plant them in boxes and hang them outside your windows so that flies and mosquitoes don't enter your home. Not just this, pot marigold also gives you calendula extract and tea. You can make calendula tea by steeping the flowers in boiling water. Calendula extract, on the other hand, comes from both flowers and leaves. It has powerful antioxidants that boost your health and immunity. It's also believed to heal skin ailments. Research has found calendula extract might actually heal wounds by increasing collagen production in your body. Number 3. Catnip While cats adore catnip, most pests hate it. It's especially good against mosquitoes. You can use the plant leaves to make a spray or rub them directly on your skin so that mosquitoes won't want to take a bite out of you. Catnip is part of the mint family. You can plant it once and use the seeds to keep recycling. If you're planting this inside the house, be sure to keep it in a spacious area so it will spread. Now, this might come as a surprise. Have you ever heard of catnip tea? Or tried it? Turns out, catnip tea has several health benefits. It has a calming effect on your body as it has a special chemical that improves relaxation. This reduces your anxiety, nervousness, and restlessness. So, how do you make catnip tea? Boil a cup of water and add two tablespoons of dried catnip leaves. Let them steep for a while. The usual recommended time is 10 to 15 minutes. Drink as is or add lemon and honey to it. Catnip tea has an earthy, grassy taste, almost woody. Allow the lemon to sit for some time. The longer lemon sits in the catnip tea, the more you'll be able to taste the natural minty, citrusy flavor. Number 4. Chrysanthemums Chrysanthemums are great for repelling pests. They can get rid of lice, ants, ticks, and roaches. They can even help keep out bed bugs. This is because chrysanthemums produce a neurotoxin which insects absolutely hate. Most insecticides you find on the market have the same neurotoxin. Chrysanthemums will also add color in a garden full of veggies while keeping away pests. Definitely a win. Number 5. Lemongrass If you've ever used an insect repelling can, you'll know the main ingredient is citronella. The citronella comes from lemongrass. Planting this in your garden will keep away mosquitoes and other insects. The best place for lemongrass is in a garden, where it can be exposed to the sun. It tends to grow as high as 4 feet tall and 3 feet wide. You can also grow it in a pot and keep it as a houseplant. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. Watch this video to learn more about the 11 signs that stress is killing you silently. Number 6. Mint Mint plants are a great way to keep mosquitoes out. The aroma that comes from the leaves and flowers of the mint plant is a deterrent for insects. 
but you need to be careful. If you're doing it in your garden, it spreads very quickly and could take up a large area. The best thing to do is pot them and place them in strategic places to drive away the mosquitoes. You could also look at making your own homemade repellent with mint oil, apple cider vinegar, and hazel. When you're outdoors and need to keep insects away, you can spray a little of this repellent. Besides that, mint is excellent for your health, and mint tea tastes amazing. Number seven, petunias. A petunia is another great option for your garden. Not only are they colorful and cheerful, they actually trap insects instead of deterring them. Petunias have sticky bits of hair on them, which trap insects such as beetles, leafhoppers, and aphids, among others. The plant then takes nutrients from these insects and the roots absorb them. These plants need full sun, but you can also pot them and face them on your patio table under some shade. Number eight, rosemary. Rosemary can keep away insects whether the leaves are untouched or are crushed and placed in a bowl. You can pot the plant and keep it in your garden or put the leaves in containers around the house. This will help you deal with mosquitoes. You can also make homemade repellent using rosemary. You'll need a sizable amount of leaves and stems to boil in the water for about half an hour. Remove the leaves and stems by straining them and pouring the liquid into a spray bottle for repellent. Number nine, lemon thyme. This is very effective in keeping mosquitoes from biting, but the catch with lemon thyme is that it only works when you crush the leaves to release oils. So to get the best out of lemon thyme, you can keep a few potted plants around your patio. Whether you have an insect or mosquito problem, you can crush the leaves right there to release the scent and drive them away. Number 10, nasturtiums. Nasturtium plants are very easy to grow and are a great way to keep away insects. These plants release a chemical into the air which acts as a deterrent for a large number of insects. Nasturtiums act as wonderful companion plants. You can put them in your garden or in pots around your patio. Either way, they'll keep you and other plants safe from pests. Number 11, basil. Basil is a popular herb used in most cuisines around the world. It's also a decent insect repellent. Basil scares away mosquitoes and houseflies. You can place several pots around your patio or inside your home, wherever you spend a lot of time. You can also make your own homemade repellent. Take a good amount of basil leaves and stems, place them in boiling water. After leaving them for several hours, you can strain them and add vodka. The mixture can be then transferred to a spray bottle and used outdoors. Indoor plants are a great way to transform your living space. If you choose wisely, they'll keep your home free of pests. There are other home improvement tips that can transform your living space. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos. Watch 23 kitchen hacks that will change your life. You can also try 11 items that help create positive energy in your home. Go ahead and click one. Better yet, watch both. Do you have indoor plants at home? Let us know in the comments below.